Hello and welcome to my plants. Today I'm going to be using exclusively thrifted pots to put my plants in and decorate my guest bedroom. So I've slowly been accumulating a collection of various pots and baskets and vases and all different sorts of things that I can put my plants in. So let's have a look at them one by one. And uh, the thing is, I, I don't really have any particular plants that I'm going to be putting in certain pots. It's more like whatever fits, you know, like Cinderella. If the slipper fits the foot or if the pot fits the plant, it was meant to be. So some of these aren't going to stay the way that they are. I'm actually going to be flipping them, redoing them, like what I did with this one. So if you watched my pastel flip video, this was originally a white hexagonal, actually as many, many people pointed out, it, it's not hexagons, it's they're pentagons. This was white, purely white, and then I sort of spray painted it and gave it stripes and different colors and everything. And I'm going to be doing things like that to some of these ones. Some of them I'm going to be leaving, but I have a few things here that I need your help with, guys. I need you to tell me what you think I should do with them. The funny thing is I've been thrifting all of this stuff over the past couple of weeks, and like every single time I go into a thrift store, I basically find a pot or I find something that could double as a pot. So I really, I thought I would have a much harder time finding things than what I've had, but I, it's, it's literally been so easy to find all of this stuff. So let's have a look at them one by one. So to start off with, I picked up these baskets. Now I definitely paid a bit too much money for these because these were $10 each and I'm sure, well the, the thing is I'm sure I could have got these for a similar price brand new if I'd gone to Bunnings or Kmart, but I really liked the thought that the money that I'm spending on these is going to charity and not some big corporation, so I was more than happy to pay the $10 per basket. But it is, yeah, it's a little tiny bit much, but I'm planning on using these baskets for some of my bigger plants, you know, like this peace lily here, for example. Well, that's a perfect fit. Huh, how's that? Gee, we're off to a good start. I really didn't think that that would fit in as well as it did, but that fits perfectly. This guy is growing a new leaf right here. He was a gift from a friend of mine, and when he came here, he was absolutely miserable. And uh, it's taken weeks and probably, uh, actually maybe even two months it's taken to get him to the point where he's finally growing a new leaf. But hopefully he'll be happy in his new little basket. I really like that it's got handles on it because whenever I, you know, move him about and go to take him to have a shower and all that sort of thing, I can just pick him up like this and take him and go. I was looking for things that I could use more so uh, to water my plants inside of, so things that didn't have holes in the bottom. And I did find a lot of those, but I haven't had any luck finding really big pots. So I was really happy that I found these baskets. So we've got the Peace Lily in basket one. Then I found these three. So these were, I, I found these at the same place that I found that one. Uh, the only difference is that that one had handles and these ones, these don't have handles. So these were $8 each, whereas the one with the handles had, that was 10. So again, I need to find three rather large plants. So perhaps my Kalitha. Yep, well, that looks absolutely fantastic. Oh my gosh, okay, that, yep, that looks great. That was too easy as well. I actually think I'm gonna use the two matching baskets for my twin fickle leaf figs. Yes, that's what I like to call these guys, my fickle leaf figs, because they're quite fickle and difficult to look after. But since I brought them home, they've each grown two new leaves. Now, this one has some holes in the leaf. This leaf isn't particularly happy, but that was because when I brought it home, this leaf was like a little bud and the bud actually had some holes in it. So this isn't my fault. I don't have bugs here and Archie didn't do this, guys, so you don't have to worry. These work quite well, actually, for the fiddle leaf figs. Now I have this little stack of white pots that I've slowly accumulated over the past couple of weeks. So this one here, how much was this? $5 at Vinnie's, not a bad price. This is ceramic and it's got a really, really nice shape to it. It's also got a barcode here on the bottom of it. And I think that it's a relatively new piece. It's probably from a Kmart or a Target or something like that. This next one, this is just plastic. This was 50 cents. This is the brand Eden. So Eden, um, there's Eden Gardens in Ride, which I go to a lot. I'm not sure if this Eden brand is associated with it, but it was 50 cents because it's just a little bit dirty. Another plastic one, this one was a dollar. <laughs> this brand, this is Elho and they sell this at Bunnings. I actually have a couple of these a little, I've got teeny tiny ones that I got from Bunnings and this is just a, a bigger version of that. A dollar, excellent find because at Bunnings, I think these are about maybe 10. And then this one, another ceramic one. How much was this? Two. Yep, this was $2. I got this at a Salvo's. So I've got four little white pots here. Now these are all slightly different in shape and size. So I'm basically gonna be playing like a, a mix and match game. So let's put this, I've got this really nice big um, alocasia here. So let's see, it's like Cinderella. Nope, it doesn't fit in there. Fits in there. Oh, fits really nicely in here. Okay, yeah, I think that we'll give, we'll put that one in here for now, the alocasia. 
This one's quite wide, so I could put a pretty big plant in here. Oh, I hope this fits. This, I think this is called a tractor seat. What is this? Le Ligularia reniformis designer verd. That fits well. That fits very, very well in there. Also, a quick question, because we just got floorboards laid the other day and they were like cutting the floorboards in the house and there was sawdust flying everywhere. And now all my plants are covered in dust. And uh, I was thinking, I, I wonder if I should go through one by one and wipe them all clean or if I should like chuck them in the shower or something. I'm not sure, but I know that dust on plants can like cause problems. I think that it can make them die. I think everything can make plants die. I think me being in the same room as plants makes them die. <laughs> all right. This one, I really, really like the shape of this. I really like how it's like slightly rounded on the bottom. I think that this could look quite nice with this alocasia. Oh, it doesn't fit. Never, never mind. Ficus? Nope. Okay, so guys, anyone that's into plants, uh, I've been told that if you go to rest your nursery pot in a pot and it's like really, really tight, it can actually suffocate the plant because it creates like an air seal and no air can get down inside it. So I'm trying to find ones that have like a little bit of room around the rim. You know what, when in doubt, I can always just put one of these. This is a hy hypostes, I think that's what you say. Look, that's, mwah. no, I feel like that's too small. Aha, I've got it. A little monstera. Hey, perfect. Just chuck a monstera in there. Okay, yep, that's nice. This is one of my favorite plants, this little monstera. He is growing this one leaf since I brought him home. All right, next, this one is really, really wide. So I think maybe, does that look okay? No, what about this? No, how about this? Yes, no. Okay, I think I figured it out, this one, no. No, I think I was right on the money with this one. I'm gonna leave an alocasia dragon scale in here. This pot to me is like a really, really pleasing shape. It makes me very, very happy. Next up, this was a real find. <laughs> Sorry, that was terrible. So this was made in Japan. And when I saw it, I knew I had to have it. It's so like retro to me. It, I think it kind of reminds me of like the, the 70s or the 80s, you know, that sort of very pastel, rainbow kind of colors. This sort of time period, they often used like squiggly lines in pastel colors. This is just little, almost like paintbrush sort of slashes like this, $5. And it's made of, um, I think it's ceramic, but it actually looks like metal. Like when you pick it up and you look at it from a distance, it's so shiny and it looks like metal, but it's actually ceramic. And I love this so much, but the problem with it is it's so deep. I, I don't really have very many plants that are like in little tiny pots that are really, really tall. Oh, I do have these. Hang on, how's, oh, maybe. Mm, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna just have to leave a hypostes in here for now. Please forgive me if I pronounce any of these plant names wrong. I've literally only just gotten into plants recently, but uh, I think I'm, I don't know. See, the, that's the problem because it's, it's so tall and deep. I actually don't know if this is intended to be a pot or not. I'm, I'm just guessing that it is, even if it's not supposed to be, that's what I'm gonna use it for. But because it's so deep, a lot of the pots are only short like this. So this one, this will sit like that and it just sort of catches at the rim. So there's all of this empty space at the bottom here, but I'm just, I'm gonna leave this one in here for now. All right, this next one, I found this at the Borkham Hills Vinnies and I'm so excited about this one. Look how beautiful it is. So this is actually like a, that beautiful pink swirly glass. You guys know how much I love this swirly glass. And at the bottom, it's actually gold. It's got like shiny sort of specks of gold. And when I first spotted it, I thought, oh, have I lucked out and found some sort of like Italian glassware? But on the bottom here, it just says Heidi Pink and Gold Glass Hurricane. I paid $10 for this, which at first I thought was a little bit much, but then I was like, don't be dumb. Like 10 bucks is amazing for this. This is stunning. I know it's probably supposed to be, I don't know if it's actually meant to be a pot. Maybe it's supposed to be a, a, a vase. I'm not sure, but I'm obviously gonna use it as a pot. It has a very thin opening, but it's very bulbous at the bottom. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna go finding something to sit in this. Maybe this one, nope, that's not gonna fit. Um. I don't have very many thin things that can go down inside this. Thinking, thinking, thinking. You know what? When in doubt, hypostes it out. Yep, that, that'll do. That'll do just fine. 
This here was only $2 from Vinnie's. So this doesn't have any holes in the bottom of it. So I'm a little bit hesitant to actually plant something directly into it. I want to put probably just a nursery pot inside. So maybe for now, I'll just leave like a little tiny succulent like one of these guys in there. This one is like absolutely minuscule. Oh, actually, look at this ridiculous succulent I found. I have no idea what this is or what it's called, but it just looks like a little Pokemon to me. I just want to stick little googly eyes on it. Actually, this one could possibly be a good one to put in here. He's a little bit, sh oh, no, he's too short. Look at him just sticking up over the top there. Actually, that's kind of funny, come to think of it. Like, it's like a little tiny animal. Uh, you know what, if I put googly eyes on him, it'll look like he's just peeping up over the top there. Yeah, he can, he can stay in there for now. All right, so I found this one for $3 from Lifeline and I hate the color of it, but I really love these lines that are all over it. It kind of looks like a, like a carrot or something. I'm planning on spray painting this one. Might spray paint it blue or pink, or I might spray paint the whole thing white and then I might go into these little cracks. I might actually like put pink and blue. Like I've got these markers and I could press them into these lines and draw like pink and blue stripes on this and have the, have the whole thing white with stripes. You know, I'm gonna dedicate an episode to like flipping a bunch of these pods, but for now, this one is really wide at the top, but very, very narrow at the bottom. Also, it's very dirty. It needs a clean out. I was, I'm really surprised that like thrift stores sell things like this. Like they don't bother cleaning them. That really surprises me. But how about this? Oh, this might actually, yes. Okay, that, wow, that fits perfectly. I got this uh, alocasia from Ikea. It was super cheap. And since I brought it home, it's grown a couple of new leaves and it seems to be doing pretty well. So that pot actually fit really, really well in here. So that looks, that looks great. All right, so this next one, this was $7. And I, again, I don't know if it's supposed to be a pot necessarily or if it's supposed to be a vase, but uh, this is basically going to have the same fate as what this one had. So if you watched my pastel flip video, this thing started off as black. This is actually a tea light holder. So on the underneath part here is where the tea light is supposed to sit. And it's just got this hole, which is probably the air hole from when they did it in the kiln or whatever. But I flipped it upside down, spray painted it white. I added little tiny pearls all over it. And then I colored each of the pearls pink and blue. So I want to do exactly the same thing with this thing and do like, just make it basically identical. So I'm gonna spray paint this entire thing white and then I'm gonna get those big kind of like marble glass stones and I'm gonna spray those and then I'm gonna color each of those pink and blue. So for now, this is the sort of thing that needs a really tall plant sticking out of it. So actually I might have to go steal that Monstera. Oh, okay, yep. Mm, I feel like that's, that's probably a better idea, which means that I now have to find a different plant for this pot. Look, easier said than done. What about this? I'm gonna leave this guy in here for now. All right, so some of you guys would have seen this one the other day. I've basically just been leaving this uh, Syngonium, I think this is called. I've been leaving the Syngonium in here because the color of the leaves, this pinky color, really, <laughs> really matches the base of this. The nursery pot kind of sticks out a little bit higher, but I mean, let's just ignore that. Let's, let's just pretend it doesn't. All right, so this pink one was $2 at a Salvo's and I couldn't believe my luck when I found this because it's everything that I wanted and more. Uh, this is the best shade of pink for me as far as I'm concerned. And this fits the uh, Hypostes. They fit in here really, really nicely. And also because these are pink, like the leaves are pink, so it, it blends in really well with the pot. It's just adorable. So I found this one at a Vinnie's and it was $7. And uh, the funny thing is that on the bottom, it's got TK Maxx and it was $13 at a TK Maxx. Uh, for Americans, TK Maxx is basically the Australian TJ Maxx. So I got this because my intention was again to spray paint it. I, it doesn't match the theme of the room because it's dark blue. It is a beautiful shade of blue though. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people screaming at me telling me not to spray paint this, but I can just imagine this with this pattern. I can imagine this matte pink. I think it'll look really, really nice. Now again, this is one that doesn't have a very wide rim on it. So I don't know how I'm gonna go getting a plant inside. Oh, that one fits, okay, that, that fits okay for now. This is an Epipremnum Pothos. This guy has given me such a hard time since I brought him home. He was literally like leaning so far that way when I brought him home and it's taken a month of me just turning it every so often to get it to sort of grow toward the sun and go upright. But actually, God, you know what? Now that this is in the pot, I actually really like it because it's got these, you know, really light neon kind of leaves and it actually looks really nice with this beautiful rich blue. Maybe I won't spray paint it. Oh, I'm not sure. 
here's another blue one. This one was $3 from a Vinnie's and this one does actually have a hole in the bottom of it. It's like the first one that had a hole. So I could actually plant something directly into this. This is an awkward one because it's so small here. So once again, all of my, oh, even, even this won't fit. Oh no, you know what? Look guys, let's just, let's just very unceremoniously transplant this right now. <gasps> Oh God, oh God. Okay, look, everything's fine. Everything's fine. You saw nothing? As far as my husband is concerned, I did not just transplant a plant inside the house. But $3 for this was pretty good. This is really nice. This is actually matte. I originally wanted to spray paint this one, but now that I've changed my mind on that other blue one, I think I'm gonna keep this one dark blue as well. And this feels really nice. It feels like rubbery. It's really cool. Uh, this guy, I hope that he thrives in here. I hope he doesn't feel too assaulted by what I just did to him by very unceremoniously removing him from his home. But don't, you'll get used to it. it, it it's an upgrade, I swear. I also found these two. Now I found these in separate parts of the same shop and I reunited them. They're obviously from the same set. There's uh, no stickers or anything on the bottom of them. I think that the big one was $2 and I think the little one was $1 from memory. You guys are never going to guess what I'm gonna put in this one. Can I just say, the leaves, this hypostes leaves, are literally exactly the same color as the pot. Like what, that's a match made in heaven, is it not? All right, so I have this teeny, teeny, tiny little syngonium that I would ideally like to put in here, but the, the nursing pot doesn't quite fit. And also this one doesn't have drainage holes in the bottom. I've either got to find something with an even smaller nursery pot, which I could use a little googly-eyed thing. Oh, hang on, what about one of these? Ah, oh, yeah, look, that, That'll do for now. Let's just leave that one like that for now. I have this thing and I mean, I look, I don't actually know what this is supposed to be for. This was $15 and I bought it because it's purple with the ombre to pink and it was beautiful. And on the bottom, it says it's got the stamp. The stamp here says it was made in Stoke-on-Trent in England. And my thoughts for it was, see how I've got this like big bowl that I've used, uh, I know it looks pretty sad at the moment, I basically just have a whole bunch of little succulent off, off cuttings in here, but I figured I could like fill this thing with dirt possibly and just grow things in it every so often, or I could just use it as a big bowl to like put my pots in when they need to be watered, you know, like a drainage kind of thing. So like if I've got to water a few plants, like because it's so big, I can just put all, all the plants in there like that and water them and they can be bottom watered. That being said, I could also not use this in a plant context and I could use it as like a fruit bowl in the kitchen or something, but it's just so big and such an unusual shape that when I saw it, I was like, I'm gonna get that for the plants uh, and I'm gonna ask people on the internet what they think. The, the brand looks as though it says G-R-I-M-W-A-R-E-S, maybe Grimwares. I think that might be what it says, Stoke on Trent. It was just too beautiful to pass up and I, I just, I wanted it because it's cool. And then I thought, look, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out later. I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with it later. But what do you guys think? Should I fill it with dirt and then grow things in it? Like a shallow planter pot? Or should I just use it in this room to give my plants a bath every so often? Not sure. So with that, let me just bring all of those back over for you to see. I'll tell you what guys, I literally 
never want to buy another pot from a mainstream store again. I'm sorry Bunnings, I'm sorry Target and Kmart, you have kind of lost my business. I mean, yes, okay, there are some really cool pots at those stores. Like for example, I got this tiny little hedgehog pot from, uh, I think this was from Target and I love him so much and I can't imagine finding things like this at a thrift store. So I will probably still buy things from Target and Kmart and stuff if it's special things like that. But if I just need a, a standard pot just to put something in, I'm just gonna go thrifting for it. It wasn't hard for me to find these things. Is it hard for you to find things like this in your country? Because for me, every single shop I go to, I find at least one. And you know, for example, there's a lot of these that uh, I didn't want to buy because I thought that they weren't right. I didn't like the color of them. But then I reminded myself, well, hang on, you can very, very, very easily change the color. I have been told by some people that plants don't like spray paint. Um, so you've got to kind of be careful, like not to spray the inside of the pot, just spray the outside of it. But uh, aside from that, don't overlook things simply because you don't like the color of them. Because, you know, next time that I talk about these pots, I'm going to be converting them and I'll be showing you guys how you can turn something from boring and drab into pastel and cute and fab. Okay, guys, that's it. That's everything. I'm sorry this was such a short video today. I really uh, was very short on time today. You know, I'm trying to post a video every single day and it's 7.30 p.m. right now and I was like, I haven't filmed anything for today. I was out filming another project that's gonna be posted in a couple of days and I spent my whole day working on it and I got home and I'm not ready to post that one yet. So I thought, okay, I'll, I'll talk about the plants today. I wasn't gonna talk about them today, but I hope that you don't mind that this was a short and sweet video about pots and plants. So tell me your ideas for the ones that I'm going to uh, convert or do you think that I should leave some of them? So give me your ideas down below. If you're interested in following me on my plant journey, my Instagram for my plants is pastel plants, please. So uh, I'll put the link to that down below if you want to follow me there, but don't go following me looking for advice because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, the people that follow me know what they're doing. So often I will ask questions like, help, this thing is dying, what do I do? And then the, my followers there will come to the rescue. So if you need advice on plants, you can always read through the comments section on that Instagram account. But uh, anyway, let me know what your favorite plant is down below. Tell me your ideas for the parts that I'm going to be converting and what you think that I should do to them. And uh, with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah!